What's up, producers out there? This is Taylor Boy Beats coming at you again with another Trap Monster video. In today's tutorial, we're going to get into a beat arrangement and the, you know, the techniques I use and how I structure myself to start laying down my sounds and my track to come up with my beat. So hopefully the information and the techniques I use will help some of you guys get started and help you simplify and arrange your beats. So we're going to start off, we're just going to listen to the track a little bit and see what we got. That's a little sample of what it does. I'm just letting you go through so you can hear the sounds and kind of get a feel. So when I start breaking the beat down and tell me what, what's going on, you understand what I'm doing. The first thing I always do is sounds. I try to pick out the right sounds for the track. Sound selection is a, mean a whole lot. And it doesn't take a whole lot of sounds to come up with a good beat. A lot of people think you got to have a, a lot of sounds. So when you break your beat down, it's good and full. But sometimes, like when I first started, I would have four or five tracks of instrumentals. Then I would have all my cuss and drum sounds. And then when I go back, I'm like, man, I'm trying to figure out what need to go there. Man, does that sound good here? So what I started doing, I just started simplifying my beats. And you can take three, three, three sounds or instrumentals, have your type 808 in a good drum pattern. And you know, you're going in and just start taking in and out of your drums, different little sounds. And, you, and for long, once you listen to it, you'll have a good a whole track. I've taken a melody, which I'm going to do a, a, a cook up on it. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to take a melody running through the beat and just let my drums and my 808 ride with it. I'm going to go in there and break down. I'm going to use one sound, and it's going to come up good. So basically what we're going to do here, we're just going to listen to these three sounds and just decide what we want to put them. Let's, let's listen to them. So that's what I do lots of times man I just I just listen and listen and listen and listen to my tracks so I just figure what sound will go good where All right. so I think the sound that I like to go good in it would be, I'm going to let you hear it. I think the dog lead would be the best sound for the intro. So I'm going to mute my pad lead and my synth lead. So we're going to just listen to the dog lead. All right, that's my dog lead. So let's mute that out. Let's go. Let's listen to see how the pad lead will sound. If it was an intro. All right. It could sound good, but to me, it just, it just ain't got that feel, you know. That's my pad lead. And let's listen to the synth lead. See, it's there, but it just ain't. It don't give you like, okay, okay, I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on the drums to bounce in here. All right, 
Yeah, so we're gonna listen to all of them again together. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna take it. We're gonna take the dark lead, and we're gonna make this our. Uh, just gonna take the dark lead, and that's gonna be the. Get out of our intro because I think it sounds the best. Let's see here. All right. So here we go. See, it's, it's just, it just stands out. It's got a full sound, and it just got you waiting for when that when that track hit. just it just it's just a whole different arrangement when you arrange your beaches it's, it's like i said it's the sound selection like you probably could come back now and uh we're gonna start it all the way back over just gonna keep going and going go listen to this hook make you just listen to the hook you can just tell that 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 synth lead that that that, that rise with the hook. So you you definitely got to put that in there. Cause without the synth lead in the hook, it just it just won't it just won't do. I'm gonna mute it. I'm gonna let you see what I'm talking about. Okay, that's your hook. It sounds more like a verse. Now once when I bring the synth lead back in. That's why I said, you know, it's just about sound selection. See, it's just about it's about sound selection. That's all it's about. So we got the intro and it, it's simple. That's all you gotta do, just listen. Like I said, I, I just go through and I listen and I listen and I listen. So you already know now that the dark lead will be good at the intro. It's got that feel. It's going to sound good in your hook. You already know that you're going to need that synth lead. Is, 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 you definitely got the hat in there. So you already done listen to the pad and the dark lead. So you know that the pad lead is definitely, it's going to make, it's going to pop in your verse. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go in the verse. And I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the pad lead in the verse. Uh, I'll put the pad lead in the verse, and I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you hear that. I'm gonna start it from the hook, and I'm gonna let you hear the pad lead in that verse, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Get ready. Now watch when they come into the hook. I see all these sounds in the hook. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back. You heard all the sounds in here. You get your dog. You hit your lead and your synth. So you know that synth, like I said, it's definitely gonna be in there with your hook. So what we finna go do, we finna, we're gonna take that synth out. Get the synth out. 
All right. Then we're going to go back there. We're going to take this dark lead out. I'm going to let, let you go back. We're going to just go back from the going to shoot about right there. I'm going to let you hear it without the dark lead, without the synth lead and that dark lead and see what the pad lead do. I got the machine jam along with my machine studio. You know, if you you machine users, you know, any y'all got the machine jam, you know, once you get your beats and your dial, you can arrange your beat in three, four minutes with the machine jam. You just push up a button, all your patterns are there. It just boom, 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 boom. So, we, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna listen to the hook. In that verse. See what I'm talking about? So you want to give you want to get room room for your artist too. So you know he gonna make the song too. So you want to give you want to give your artist a room. room. Let the rapper help you with the beat too. There you go. And see, that's that's, that's how I do. So, right there, you already know that you already got your your intro. Done broke your hook down. That's your first. Now we're gonna go with the drums. So on my drums, you know, on the drums, on the hook, you can, you know, basically do what you want to. You just got to, like I say, you just got to listen. It's all about listening to what you're doing. Just listening and taking your time. So, you know, we're going to go here with the drums. You can do it how you want to on my drums. And most of the time when I do my drums, I got everything labeled, as you can see. My sounds. So I know. I guess right here. We better get this right because I do a lot of stuff. Hats. You know, I just got everything labeled. See how I got everything labeled? So in one verse, I might just want to have the drums, four bars of the drums, then four bars, I might take the hats out. Then I come back. I might do another full drum and some more bars. I take this and that out. It's just all about going in there, just doing the little subtle little things that'll make your track sound good. Like I said, it don't take a whole lot. It just just the solo, just subtle little things. It's it just that's all it take. That's all it take. And all I said, like I said, it's just all about organization. If you organize yourself. You'll be able to come in here and you'll be able to construct your beats and arrange them in no time. It just don't, you know, just keep it simple. If you, if you producers out there, if you keep it simple, you'll understand it. It don't take a whole lot to construct. Just a simple, like I said, this is just a simple beat. It's three sounds, instrumentals, and I got my drums. So like I said, just listen to what you're doing. Just, 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 just try this technique out. Like I said, use your couple sounds and use your drums. You got to have good sound, sounds that go together. That's what it's all. It's all about sound selection and organization. 
So I'm gonna let you guys listen to this whole track. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Tutorial. I hope I said something and showed you guys something that'll help you in your production. You know, if y'all need any more questions, need to ask us anything, need to see some more tutorials or anything, we're gonna be coming at you with a whole lot of material. We're gonna also, you know, do VST reviews, drum kit reviews, and all that. You know, just to try to help you producers out out there, cause. It's a lot of things out there that we, I'm, I'm guilty of, I've bought a whole lot of VSTs, drum kits and stuff that I thought you just need a whole lot of sounds and stuff to make good beats. But you don't, it's all about sound selection and the technique you use. I'm Taylor Boy, representing Trap Monsters. See y'all again, hope you enjoy. <laughs>